I don't know if my math is correct. I added up everything I own. The total is. Hi guys. So I have um, a ton of makeup, and I'm kind of known for collecting a lot of makeup over the years. So I wanted to kind of play a game and guess how much all of my makeup was worth. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of my favorite makeup products and show them with you, sort some of them. And we're going to find out how much money all my makeup is worth by the end of this video. So I think we're going to start with all of these lipsticks and lip products right here. And I'm just going to try to show you my favorites. We're going to swatch some and play with some makeup. I have two of these Dear Dahlia mini lipsticks that I actually regret buying. They make my lips look very dry. And this is how tiny they are. They're extremely, extremely small. There's barely one or two lip uses in here. So this is great if you want to try a new product, but personally not my favorites. But I do have two of these in different shades. I have a NYX whipped lip and cheek stain that I haven't yet opened, but this used to be one of my favorite products. I haven't used it in a while. I have the NY Bay 5-in-1 lipstick, which is definitely one of my favorite products right now. I don't know if you guys watched my makeup in a rickshaw video, but I used this and it's great for when you're on the go. So you can definitely check this out with the link in the description box below. I have a bunch of lip liners from Maybelline and K Beauty. Not generally a fan of lip liners. To be honest, I haven't really used these much, but I do have them. I have two lipsticks from NARS. This red is one of my favorite matte red lipsticks. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. It's a really nice, rich red and looks great on everyone. And I have another Maybelline. This is called Color Jolt. And I don't think they make these anymore. I should probably throw this out. It's one of my favorite red shades of lipstick. It's pretty close to this NARS one. And I just think it's a really nice rich red color. So it's one of my favorites. A lot of my makeup isn't necessarily from India. I like to buy makeup when I travel and test out new things. So I have quite a few K-Beauty brands. I have a few brands that aren't available here. But whatever is available in India, I will make sure to link in the description box below so that you guys can get your hands on it. So I have this Fenty Beauty um, lip stain. It's pretty dark. It's in the shade something berry, I think. But it's, it's a pretty dark color. You have to just kind of swipe it onto your lips and then when you wipe it off, it stains it. I have another lip stain from a Korean beauty brand called Rom. And I think is the name of the brand. It's another red lip stain. You guys can see that I really like wearing red shades. So that's what that looks like. I have a few kind of lip gloss lip balms. So this one is from Bobbi Brown. It's kind of like a lip tint. So you can't see it on my hand. You can see a kind of slight stain. And I really like this because it looks super natural and glossy. I have the Clinique Almost Lipstick Black Honey. This was like viral a few months ago and it's definitely my go-to lipstick. I use this every day because it doesn't really look like you're wearing a lot of makeup. And these two are similar. They're kind of lip gloss lipsticks. So when you put them on, they look really glossy, but they also have quite a lot of color. I'm going to try to swatch these for you right here. This one is from Hourglass. Let me get some more out. Yeah, so this one is from Hourglass. And this one is from Tarte, which is kind of a purpley shade. And these aren't available in India, but the perfect dupe is this Kaja lip gloss lip stain kind of product it is my favorite one it's also super cute it has this little heart applicator and you can just click it up it's like using a pen i'm just gonna put it on right next to the hourglass one it's super glossy that's the kaja and that's the hourglass it's the perfect dupe and this one is available in india so i'll link it in the description box below I have two of these Fenty liquid matte lipsticks that I don't really use as much anymore. This one I regret buying because this lip color doesn't look very good on me. It tends to look a little bit over the top. I'm going to put some on so you guys can see. Tell me what you think in the comments. Do you hate it? Do you love it? I, I can't decide. Okay, that was a very rough application. But you guys can see that it's a very, very bright pink. Should I keep this? Let me know in the comments below. I'm just gonna wipe this off. I'm gonna wipe off the swatches on my hand and then we're gonna move on. But I have two of these Fenty liquid lipsticks. 
and I wiped it off. I'm ready to go. We're gonna keep going. I have two more uh, lipsticks from the Korean brand Rom and they call a blurring lip sculpt, and they kind of have like a soft matte effect. So it just kind of blurs your lips and adds a little bit of color to it. Just like this. And it looks pretty natural, which is why I really like this. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I really like Fenty products. So I have two more of the Fenty lip glosses. One is the Gloss Bomb and one is the Gloss Cream. I have an e.l.f. tinted lip gloss. And I recently bought this lip gloss lip oil from Zara, which I was pretty happy with. I didn't realize Zara was making beauty products. I think this is for $7.99. It's kind of a luxury product, so that's pretty good. I have a lip gloss from Pat McGrath, which again, I regret buying. It doesn't look great on me. And it was super expensive. You guys will see the price somewhere up here. I wouldn't recommend getting one of these. But my favorite, favorite lip gloss is actually this one. It's from Blue Heaven. It has a lip plumping effect. And it's a tinted gloss as well. I'm just gonna put some on. This looks great on top of any other lipstick or just by itself. And it's great for college, for work, for something that you want a slightly neutral lip with a little pop of color. Definitely get this. It's the Blue Heaven Lush and Juicy. I'll link this in the description box below as well. It is my current favorite lip gloss. I have a NYX Butter Lipstick. I have three of these Lip Story lipsticks from Sephora that I don't really use as often anymore. The one that I do use is this one. It's in the shade number nine. And it's a really nice kind of rusty red, brown neutral. So it looks great on all skin tones and it looks pretty dark on mine right now. But this is really great for someone who has a darker Indian skin tone as well. Even though my skin is a little pale, it still looks great on me. Finally, in my lipsticks, I have these three mini Pat McGrath lipsticks that I bought that were on sale. Again, I regret buying these. They were super expensive. I don't like how they look on my lips. They kind of enhance my imperfections. So if you're thinking about trying one of these, maybe give them a miss or test them out before you buy them. That was it for my lipsticks. Again, check the description box for the ones I've linked below. And let me know which ones you think I should keep. Should I keep the Fenty one that I wasn't sure about? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Okay, let's move on to some face makeup, some eyeshadow. This is kind of a draw of everything mixed together. I'm gonna take it out and show you guys some of my favorite products from here. This is definitely one of my favorites. This is from Pat McGrath and it's a highlighting kit, but you can use it as eyeshadow, you can use it as anything. The colors are really, really pretty. Can you guys see? It's like a kind of holographic pink shade, which I love. I have a Glossier concealer, which is really great. I have this Chanel bronzer, which I'm actually wearing right now. This was a gift. I didn't buy it, but it was very, very, very expensive. But it looks great. I have Bobbi Brown blush, which is kind of one of my daily go-to blushes. But it's really expensive, so I found an amazing dupe for it which is this one. It's from Swiss Beauty's new line called Craze. Um, and they're both really, really creamy and look amazing on your skin. It doesn't look like you're wearing makeup at all. So I'll make sure to link this in the description box. I think it's one tenth of the price of this or something. This might be almost 4,000 rupees and I think this is around 300 rupees. And it is an amazing product. So definitely check this out. The pigmentation is also amazing. So it looks great on any skin tone and it blends in really nicely to give you this great natural look. You can see how pigmented that is. It's amazing. So definitely check this one out. I have this Marc Jacobs highlighter. It looks like a little deodorant. It's like a little stick. I just put this on my face directly or I use my fingers and kind of put it on and then blend it out. And it gives it a really natural dewy look. So I really, really like this product. But this was super expensive. And I think you can definitely find dupes or products that are just as good in India. So I wouldn't recommend getting this if you are traveling and thinking about it, maybe skip it. I have some more bronzers. I have one from Benefit and one from Physicians Formula as well. I have some blushes. This one is from NARS. It's their best-selling shade. I haven't used it a lot lately because I've been using some cream blushes more than powder blushes. I have this Pat McGrath blush. I definitely regret buying this one as well because I don't know why, maybe I'm not using it right, but it's really, really patchy on my skin. And the color is really nice, so I want it to work for me, but I just haven't been able to find a way to make it look good on my skin. I have two Fenty blushes in two different shades. One is kind of shimmery purple and one is bright pink color. 
I also have this Maybelline highlighter that is one of my favorite products to take on the go because it's highlighter, you can use it as an eyeshadow, it's super pigmented, look at that color. Definitely a must have product, and this one is super affordable, so I'll link this in the description box. I have another Tarte bronzer and an e.l.f. liquid eyeshadow, which is really pretty as well. It has a kind of greenish gold color, as you can see right here. And then I have a really, really great liquid blush, which is again from NYB. It comes, oh, it's like a little jelly, some of it just fell out. It's like a whipped mousse texture. And it's one of my favorites because it just glides onto your skin and feels like you're not wearing anything at all. I'm just going to put some on here. It's again super pigmented and just blends into your skin and has this kind of cream to powder texture. So you guys can see that that's also really good. I'll link this in the description box as well. So I have these three, they're kind of like a glitter eyeshadow and they're from the brand Danessa Mirix. They are my probably my favorite eyeshadow products till date. They have this kind of duochrome effect that looks like magic on your eyes. I'm just gonna open one and show you. This is what it looks like inside. It's very liquidy and then when you put it on your skin, it has this kind of duochrome effect. So it looks green and then pink and the color kind of changes constantly. So if you're ever traveling, definitely pick these up. And then finally I have Colourpop glitter gel eyeshadow um, which is really fun to wear on a night out and I have two more blushes one is from Tarte which is a powder blush and one is from Honest Beauty which is a cream blush. Now we're gonna move on to some face makeup that I have right here. This is some more blushes, bronzers, um, concealer, foundation. I have two of these dark concealers in different shades. It's the Shape Tape Concealer. And I have a Glossier Skin Tint, which is a very slight kind of wash of tint on your skin. It's not like a full foundation, it's more like a BB cream. I have another BB cream from Shiseido and another color changing cream from Shiseido as well. This one's pretty cool. It comes out white and then when you blend it into your skin, I'm just gonna show you right here, the color changes to your skin color. So this is a pretty cool product to give yourself just a, a slight tint of color and it has SPF in it as well. But again, this was super expensive for what it is. Honestly, you can just get a tinted sunscreen and it should work just as well. I have these two foundations. One is from Fenty and one is from Laura Mercier. And again, I regret buying these because the foundation I actually end up using is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It's super affordable, it's available in India. I'll link it down in the description box. And it looks like skin, it goes on amazingly and it's great for every single skin type. I have very oily skin and it works great for me, but it also works great for people I know with dry skin as well. So you can definitely check these out. I have this Tentu silicone primer that I honestly don't use anymore. I should probably get rid of this. And I have this The La Primer, which is gold infused. I think this might be the most expensive makeup product I own. Definitely regret buying it. You can get dupes of this very easily in India. Don't spend your money on this. It was a huge mistake. I will not be buying this again. And I have another primer from Cover FX that I don't really use as much anymore either. I have a MAC strobe cream, uh, which is nice when you want a slight dewy tint to your skin. And then I have these Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops. As you can see, I'm pretty pale, so I like to add a little bit of bronzing color to my skin with this. I have a NARS Liquid Blush, which is really nice but in the bottle if you can see it kind of separates so I'm not sure if it's the formula and I get a bit worried to use it so I need to check this out. Um, I have these two Ixi on the glow blush sticks. This one is really nice. It's like a light pink and it just goes on as like a slight tint onto your skin. If you have darker skin tones I would skip this one and get this instead. It's kind of a more red tone color but it did come to me kind of damaged so just be careful about that. And I have this Chanel blush stick. This was also a gift to me, but to be honest it's a little patchy and very expensive so I don't know if I recommend getting this one. I also have a Chanel highlighter that's gold but again to be honest you can get products very similar to this. I wouldn't spend a bunch of money on a 
Chanel product just because it's a luxury product. I have this one which is a Josie Moran highlighter. It's a gold liquid highlighter. This one is really nice but again you can find dupes of this which I'll add to the description box below. It's just a liquid gold highlighter so there's a lot that you can find that are very similar. And I have two Fenty matte sticks. One is contour stick and one is holographic highlighter. I don't know if you guys know this one but I love holographic products and this one looks really really fun to use. I like to use this when I'm kind of clamming up and going out at night. So those are all my face products. We're gonna move on to some eyeshadow palettes next. Before eyeshadows, I have a few powders that I forgot about. So this one is Laura Mercier. This is kind of a, a cult following viral powder. So this is really nice. I have another one which is called Scooty S Fun Powder. This one is great. It's very affordable. Um, it's not available here, but I think in the US it's about a few dollars. But this gives you a really bad kind of white cast on your face, which is why I stopped using it. I have the Winky Lux Whipped Primer. This is very similar to the uh, NYB blush I showed you earlier. It has this kind of squishy texture, which is fun to use. And I also have this dark primer, which is a very thick primer and kind of blurs out your pores and fills them out. I have another of these Gola powders. It comes in as beads. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. It has these little beads that are supposed to color correct and blur your skin. Again, I think this might be one of the more expensive products I own. A bead just fell out. And I don't think you need it. It doesn't do much to your skin noticeably. I just take a brush, swirl it around, and then brush it onto my skin. And it does give a little bit of like highlight and glow, but it's definitely not something you need to spend four or 5,000 rupees on. So I would recommend giving this one a miss. And then I have two setting sprays. One is from Urban Decay and one is from MAC. Uh, the MAC one is available in India and it's amazing. You can use it to prime your skin, set your makeup. Um, if you're using a glittery eyeshadow, you can use it to wet your brush. So I'll link this in the description box as well. Now we're moving on to my eyeshadow palettes and I have quite a lot of them. This one is from Pat McGrath. Again, I know that these eyeshadows are supposed to be amazing, but I don't find them very special. They just seem like normal glittery eyeshadows to me. Maybe it's because it's in one of these smaller packs, but I would recommend giving these a skip. I have this, which is a neon eyeliner palette from Suva Beauty. They're water activated liners. So what you have to do is just put some water into each of these and then use it to draw a line on your eye. These are pretty cool and they're supposed to be uh, glowing in UV light, but I haven't tested that out yet. I have two Urban Decay palettes. This one is very, very old, probably expired. I should definitely get rid of it. Um, it's one of the Naked palettes. I think it's called Naked Smoky. So you can see that it has like a nice range of neutral colors. The other Urban Decay palette is this one. It's called Moon Dust and it's one of my favorites. It has all these really glittery shades and they're really nice to do as like a just one and done eyeshadow look. I have this one from Huda Beauty, which is the nude palette. This was actually a gift from someone as well. And the glitters in here are really nice, but the powders and the mattes are kind of very powdery. I'm not a big fan of them. I have this Jaclyn Hill palette, which has a lot of great colors. I actually bought this when I was living in the US. And I love these shades down here, but I don't really use the rest of the palette as much. I have this one from a YouTube blogger. I don't know if you guys know her, Tati Beauty. Um, she doesn't make these anymore, unfortunately, but I bought this when it just released and the glitters in here are really amazing. I'm gonna swatch one for you so you can see how shiny it is. The glitters are just really thick and shimmery and you can see that it has a really nice shine when you swatch it. And then finally, I have this one from Morphe, which is like a very colorful palette that I haven't really used much. I would say the quality of these eyeshadows aren't great, but it's really fun to look at. And at the time, I thought I would use it a lot more than I am. I have a few smaller palettes as well. These are some single eyeshadows from the brand Anastasia. Um, these are really nice. This is probably one of my favorite shades of eyeshadow. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys as well. It has this kind of bluey green, mermaid color which i really love and then i have a few more huda beauty palettes i have the lilac and mint ones and i have these two obsessions palettes one is the emerald one and one is the smoky one 
I definitely use these a lot and they're great to travel with. So this kind of size of eyeshadow palette is really nice if you're on the go. And then finally, I have one from Makeup Revolution, uh, which is kind of purple and red shades. And finally, last but not least, I have a bunch of eyeliners, eye pencils, mascaras that I want to show you guys as well. I recently got this Chanel mascara, which is amazing. But then I also tried this Purple Cosmetics Mascara and obviously the price difference between these is insane. But they have very similar brushes that I want to show you. They both have these short spiky brushes that give you really really nice volume. I'm going to show you what they both look like. They're both very short and spiky and they give you a similar effect for obviously an insane price difference. So I would recommend definitely checking the purple one out. I'll add that in the description box below as well. I also use this one in my makeup in a rickshaw video. So if you want to see what it looks like, you can check it out there. I have some eyeliners. I have two of these Maybelline Colossal eyeliners, but again, I've stopped using them and I've kind of replaced them with this Stay Quirky um, Badass Liner. I use it as a liner instead of a kajal, even though it is a kajal because it's super, super black. Like it's probably the blackest eyeliner I've used and as a kajal it doesn't smudge at all um, so it's definitely one of my favorites you can see how black the color is it's like jet black so I love this one I'll put this in the description box as well I have some brown eyeliners because I like to use brown eyeliner above my eyes so I have two Maybelline ones and a Lacme one as well these are really nice if you have very brown eyes and you don't want to overpower it with a black liner you can use a brown liner instead i have these three liners color liners from glossier that i like to use sometimes when i want to do a little bit more of a fun look this blue one is really fun i'll show you what it looks like it's kind of a mint bluey green color and i have two elf brow pencils this is what i use to do my brows I have two liquid liners, one is from Kat Von D and one is from Clinique. The Clinique one is available in India, so I'll link that below as well. I have another mascara, which is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. This used to be my go-to mascara, but I find it really hard to take off. And what happens is my lashes tend to come off with it. So I only use this if I'm gonna be putting on makeup that needs to last for a very, very long time, maybe for a wedding or something like that. Otherwise, I give this one a miss. I have a Fenty Beauty brown liner and I have these Fenty Beauty neon liquid liners. I really only use this blue one to be honest, but it came in a set of three. And this one is an Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and this is a House of Lashes lash glue. So I think that is all my makeup. Um, I'm going to do some math and come back and check how much it is that I've spent on all of these products together. Okay guys, um, I don't know if my math is correct, but I added up everything I own. Obviously I haven't bought all of this and the total is 2,47,000, which is an insane number. I obviously have accumulated these over many, many years. It hasn't been just a couple of years, but I feel crazy for spending that much money on makeup. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Were some of these products worth it? Um, or do you think that I shouldn't have splurged on them? Tell me which one of these you like, which ones you want to see more of maybe. And I think my resolution for the rest of not just this year, but for a long time is to not buy any more makeup because I can definitely use everything I have. I don't think I need anything new. That's definitely something I'm taking away from this because that's a lot of money to have spent. Either way, I will add the products that are available here in the description box below so you can check them out. Trust me, the more affordable ones are definitely, definitely worth it. Obviously, don't spend as much money as I did, but pick a few products that you really, really want and maybe focus on those and save up for those once a year or once every few months. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my different makeup products and um, until next time, stay tuned and stay glamorous.